morning and welcome back to Tuesday Entrepreneurship. My name is Joy Muchacho. You are watching Why in the Morning on the Y254 channel. Remember, you can watch us on channel 376 on DSTV. And if you want to join us and to talk to us and also to ask us some questions and even share your opinions, you can do so on our social media pages on Facebook and Twitter. That is Y254 underscore channel. And then on Instagram, you can find us on Y254 uh, actually, that is Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. And on Facebook and Twitter, we're just Y254 channel. And please, we'd love for you guys to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. That is Y254 channel. I myself can be found on Joy underscore Mochache on Twitter alone. And today, we have a wonderful entrepreneur on set with us today. Her name is Sarah Nganga. She is the CEO and the founder of Prime Holiday Adventures. Please, let's welcome her. Thank you, Joy, for having me. Yes. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. the founder of Prime Holiday Adventures yes. Limited. Okay. And uh, I'm the head of reservations, mm -hmm. and I'm also actively involved. Wow, yes. head of reservations and also actively involved. Yes. So you're Mamboyote inside sure. that whole scene. Sure, sure. So the operation cannot happen without you, it seems. Yeah, yeah. I have to be there. I have mm -hmm. to check on everything that is running smoothly. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So maybe we can get into a little bit, talk about what Prime Holiday Adventures is all about. What is Prime Holiday Adventures? What What is it about exactly? Yes, Prime Holiday Adventures is basically a tours and travel company. Uh -huh. uh, we do... We, our main destinations are Tanzania, Uganda, Zanzibar, okay. and uh, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. We do safaris and uh, we also do excursions, climbing mm -hmm. excursions, okay. Mount Kenya, Kilimanjaro. Wow. Basically, if you want to travel, uh -huh. you can always count on us. We can always count on you. Yes. That is interesting. Sure. Okay. And um, there's something that I found quite interesting um, mm -hmm. when you, when I was learning about you, when, when we're talking, mm -hmm. you did... Um, you volunteered elsewhere first, sure. And then, whilst you're volunteering there, you 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 actually coordinated a trip for other people to come, and it worked out perfectly, so yes. impressively. Sure. And that's where you now got the interest to start. Can we talk about how that uh, started off? You're um, doing the uh, the volunteering, and then finally choosing to open this company. Sure. When I was. Uh at the college, yeah. when I was pursuing my bachelor's. Yes. So I did an, a volunteer mm -hmm. at one of the companies, mm -hmm. travel companies, okay. that is uh, Steps Adventures. And when I was there, I was really active. I managed to, to plan a trip. That wow. was, it was so new to me, but I coordinated <laughs> everything so well. Mm -hmm. And the turnout was quite interesting. Yes. So I did it and it was successful. Uh -huh. That. Uh, pushed me to and uh, the idea of prime holiday adventures came about mm. and i thought i can really do well when i have my own company so after that um hike was it a hike yeah that it you was planned? a hike uh -huh. at mount and uh, old donio sabuk uh, old donio sabuk. yes yes so you planned a hike and it turned out quite well then your interest to start off your um a company in tourism came sure okay and let's talk about a little bit about what you studied in college because um as we were talking once again you told me that you actually studied something completely different and then yes. did a diploma in tourism after yes. that yes. so what you started off with was what i enrolled for bachelor's uh, degree at mm -hmm. the university of nairobi mm -hmm. armed conflict and peace studies <laughs> so and uh, when i was a uh, uh, that year that's when i got the volunteer when okay. I was during my long holidays. Right. So in the um, armed conflict, I still have passion about it. Actually, I'm a member of uh, Zalendo Initiative. Mm -hmm. I'm a peace scholar, and I feel I can also push it forward when it comes to mm -hmm. peace uh, and uh, peace-related uh, issues. So uh, the idea of uh, having a travel company, despite doing a different course from the university, mm -hmm. uh, came about when. Uh, I was an attache. Mm. So, and uh, th this pushed me forward because I needed something I can also do for myself. Mm -hmm. And I can also build my own brand and push it forward as myself. Mm. So, when I cleared, uh, co before I even uh, uh, graduated from the University of Nairobi, I pursued a course in uh, a diploma in was in travel uh -huh. so I used to do part full-time at the University of Nairobi and also part-time at the an, uh, at the college in town so I used wow. to do both of them it was quite challenging but that sounds really challenging that sounds yes. quite heavy yes so you're balancing two different colleges you can imagine Joy. wow <laughs> you sound like quite an ambitious woman I was 
you and were, I am. you still are. Yes. Yes. This is why you're the founder of such a big, wonderful tourism company. Yes. Okay. So I used to do both of them, and mm -hmm. uh, um, I did the, uh, I did, I sat for the exam, mm -hmm. for the tours and travel, mm -hmm. and uh, at the end of uh, 2016, that's when I graduated from the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. uh, I was second class upper division. Bachelor's of Arts in Armed Conflict girl. and Peace Studies. Yes. Wow. Nice. Yes. Good job. <laughs> oh, okay. This yeah. is so interesting because um, sociology, I can understand. Mm -hmm. um, you can, through sociology, you can learn about the society you and sure? the community around you. Yes. Um, but armed and peace conflict studies, that, mm -hmm. that sounds so interesting. Why, what, why did you pick that to begin with? Where, which direction were you going? when you picked that um, in university? Yes, you know, Joy, peace is not just uh, the absence of uh, uh, the absence of conflict, yes. but basically peace is something that uh, everyone, for you to be here, mm. you have some peace of mind and mm -hmm. your environment. Mm -hmm. So all that I considered, I wanted to pursue in that direction whereby I can actively involved, be involved in uh, peace building and reconstruction resolutions towards the... Uh, I remember taking you back uh, when, um, sorry, when I was, um, when, I, mm -hmm. when I got into Form 1. Yes. So that, it was beginning of uh, 2007, 2008 post-election. Uh -huh. So I passed so well, but unfortunately <laughs> I didn't go to that school where I was invited to. Mm. So it makes me it made me feel bad about it mm. so when i was uh, still at uh, high school and uh, i needed to to do something that really would bring peace to the society yes yes wow. that's, that's what pushed me to that direction right issue. so that's why you chose why you chose that yes okay i can understand why the two different interests came up sure. all right so let's focus now a little bit more about prime mm -hmm. to uh, prime holiday adventures yes so why did you first of all even the name why mm -hmm. prime i know prime is you know something to describe the top yes. uh, the creme de la creme mm -hmm. it's something that describes you know the best of something sure. is that the reason why you chose the name prime or is there a different reason definitely i wanted to do something outstanding something different yeah. and uh more interesting this name came about when i was uh, still in campus mm -hmm. when i was in the library and i would just write uh, uh the mission the the the, the vision of my company so this is something that came about unfolds every time mm -hmm. as we went by mm -hmm. yes i see okay and um when it comes to this particular business venture mm -hmm. sure. i would say that uh, <coughs> It's mixed. I think that it's both men who do it and also females who do it. Am I wrong or right? You're right. Yes. And so how is it like when it comes to challenges and competition? When you walked in and you decided that you're interested in starting a tourism company, what were the first challenges you faced in the very beginning? Yes. Um, I have graduated at 2016 and I opened the company early 2017. So it was quite challenging getting into the system uh, with a vast knowledge in uh, tour tourism, mm -hmm. but uh, a little bit of exposure. So I took the challenge really positively mm -hmm. and uh, decided to venture in it because I had passion for it. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, I always dream about it. Yes. I always, it was always my dream to have something that I can build up myself. That's right. So this pushed me and uh, this company came about uh, when I was just, uh, when I fought, uh, when, uh, during my first job as a hotel manager. Okay. It wasn't really my thing. So when I was just working, I just needed to get out of my comfort zone and uh, start up something a start up something yes what do you mean get out of your comfort zone were you uncomfortable at first yeah remember i i had not done anything to do with hospitality yes. and i was in a, a hotel so it wasn't really uh, my thing mm. so when i was there uh, i wasn't really comfortable i was just there because i was getting a, a pay mm. and uh, I, w I, w I wouldn't i wouldn't count on it for so many years to come I so see. i needed to something okay yes uh -huh. and um, when it comes to 
you said that you started, uh, actually, was it in 2017, you said? 2016? Yes. Yes. So, and you said that some of the challenges were because you had to come out of your comfort zone, that you yes. were not well versed when it came to the world of tourism. Yes. And that's why you had to go into a diploma. Yes. And learn a little bit more about tourism before you could actually take the reins and start. Yes. So, uh, we've, t we've discussed about some of the challenges you had when you started off. Mm -hmm. What about throughout your journey? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the ups and downs when it comes to business. Not sure. sometimes. That's, that, that's sure. a definite. That's yes. a given. Mm -hmm. What about throughout your journey? Now that you finally learned the ropes, mm -hmm. what were you coming across that you found quite difficult to deal with? Yes, uh, something that was really challenging, it was of course the capital. I had not really saved much to do it. So I started with a little capital, mm -hmm. but uh, because I was, uh, I was very focused mm -hmm. and it needed it to work, mm -hmm. so I, I would do anything. I would travel up and down. Mm -hmm. I would use the little savings I had mm -hmm. to make sure that I've done the registration of the company, I've, I've got the licensing and all that. And all that. Yes. I see. And um, <laughs> would you, are you, I don't know, when it comes to tourism companies, do mm -hmm. they tend to work together mm -hmm. sometimes? <coughs> yes. They do? Uh, sure. Yes. Because uh, somebody in uh, Tours and Travel, mm -hmm. uh, a director of one of the companies, mm -hmm. held my hand and uh, made sure uh, I was getting on track. Why are you saying someone? This yes. Is, you should be saying they're all their six names if they held yes. your hand. He's Edward. Yes. Yes, the director of uh, uh, Kenya's uh, tours and travel. Okay. Yes. And so that's a person that actually stood with you and showed sure. you how to do things. Yes. That's interesting. And so who would you like to work with when it comes to... Um, how can I say, helping people. Do yes. people who are starting off mm -hmm. in the tourism business reach out to you at mm -hmm. any point? Yes, I think uh, that's an ideal uh, thing to do because uh, actually when you do, it's interesting even uh, uh, helping somebody learn or get into the tourism field and they can always count on me because somebody held my hand so I should do this more often yeah. to people who are coming especially the young uh, the young entrepreneurs who are coming on board mm -hmm. who really want to, to, to do this for themselves mm -hmm. I think uh, it's it's not that hard if you believe in yourself mm -hmm. and you have the passion and the zeal you can do it you can do it yes okay and um you know when it comes to new entrepreneurs mm -hmm. maybe we can talk about some of the mistakes that they make when they're starting off in business and mm -hmm. how you can <coughs> advise them mm -hmm. in ways uh maybe three points three important points that you can advise in ways to start off business properly yes yeah. uh what if you want to start uh, something you mm -hmm. ma you must have a uh, a direction okay yes and uh, the destination so if you have the directions and uh, you know how to maneuver you definitely get there but if you don't you want to just get there but you don't have a direction on how to move the next step it becomes challenging another thing is that uh, you need to be patient also and uh, let things unfold put more effort but don't push, don't rush to do something, but take your time and it will definitely grow. Mm. So yes. patience, having yes. direction yes. for your destination sure. and having patience that sure. will grow. Yeah. That is great. That's great. And so uh, thank you for that advice that you've given new mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. And I hope that they've been able to take that down. Once again, if you'd like to interact with us, do feel free to do so on our social media handles. Once again, that's Facebook and <coughs> Twitter, Y254 channel as hashtag Tuesday Entrepreneurship, hashtag Y in the morning. Back to Miss Nanga. Yes. So I saw that you came with your sister. Yes. And I could see you guys whispering together in the background. It seems like you're quite close. Yeah, we are quite close. Uh -huh. Actually, she's uh, she does journalism. She does journalism. Yeah, at Saint Paul's University. All right. So this kind of motivation to her. Okay, that's uh, great. Wouldn't, uh, I carried her along with me. Ah, that's great. Yes. Um, so the reason I'm asking is because what is it like for your family? Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're supportive. I'm sure that yes. they're proud of you. <laughs> and so what was it like when you first went to your parents and told them, um, you know, I know you didn't want to, you don't have to ask them for money. <laughs> sure, sure. But it's, it's good to <laughs> run ideas yes. by our parents, mm -hmm. whether or not we need their money. Mm -hmm. So you went, I'm sure you told them, uh, so I want to do this thing. Mm -hmm. What was their reaction? 
Yeah. I think uh, I have a very good family. Uh -huh. You seeing here, it's, it shows that they, they support me a lot, uh -huh. especially my, my, my parents. So uh, when this idea came about, they encouraged me a lot. Even right now, mm. they just want to see me go somewhere. Mm. So they're really supporting me and I'm thankful to them. Oh, yes. that's really beautiful. Sure? And now you're supporting your sister you as sure? well. <laughs> that's great. Mm -hmm. So back to the business. Mm -hmm. um, what exactly is different mm -hmm. about your holiday adventures? Mm -hmm. When we talked, you mentioned something to do with packages. Mm -hmm. What yes. is so special about <coughs> your packages? Yes, um, Joy, mm -hmm. uh, uh, every time uh, I'm doing this, I want to, to, to to do it differently from other companies to stand out as well so uh, we we package our our, our packages differently our travel mm -hmm. packages so uh, understanding i have knowledge in tourism and um different uh, uh, people have uh, different attitudes towards uh, uh, destinations so different perceptions and uh, mentally uh, impressions. So you really want to understand this person who comes to you and engages you that they want to travel to a certain destination. Mm. You need to understand their interest, what they want, what they are looking forward to, mm. so that you can package it really nicely and deliver it to them so that they can really appreciate at the end of the day. Not mm. just throwing packages, you really need to, to make sure it fits what they expect. Okay, yes. so you put some thought into the packages. Sure, sure. Okay, can we play a scenario? Mm -hmm. Now me, mm -hmm. let's say I come to you <coughs> and I'm interested in going to, I don't know, <laughs> I want to go to Amboseli, mm -hmm. uh, spend some time there. Mm -hmm. What would my package be like? Oh, so far, far And I'm coming along because I just want to rest. Yeah, alone. Yes. So you're basically a solo traveler. That's solo one traveler. thing. That's yes. what I'm known as. Yes. Yes. Cause which, you're I am, which I alone. am. I am a solo traveler. <laughs> I do travel a lot alone. <laughs> yes. yes uh -huh. So Alda, 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 really, right now you're, you're just in town and mm -hmm. all that and mm -hmm. it's a it's a hassle yeah. so you want somewhere very silent and uh, no disturbance around you just to enjoy your peace and the environment exactly. so basically i'll choose uh, the best facility uh, for you so mm -hmm. that you can also get to enjoy when you're your holiday okay that's yes. great. Thank and, you. And uh, before before I forget, we yes. normally do um, facility inspections. So I travel a lot, engaging different hotels. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so that I can really understand what they are offering. Mm. So that when I'm giving it to my guest, I'm really confident of what I'm doing. Yes. yes. And so as you're traveling to these hotels, mm -hmm. you ca you, I'm sure you go and you tell them your purpose, why yeah. you're coming. Yes. It's because you have a tourism company mm -hmm. you're interested mm -hmm. in bringing guests over, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How do you, what are some of the things you look at in mm -hmm. choosing a hotel for your guests, mm -hmm. uh, a hotel for mm -hmm. prime mm -hmm. holiday adventures? Yes. They, they should have uh, some good grounds. Okay. Yes. And uh, indoor uh, games, mm -hmm. uh, facilities like uh, swimming pool uh, and spas and all that, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the 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 rooms should be really nice and mm -hmm. well done. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. All right. Yes. Clean, well done. You sure. Right. Nice design and all that. Oh, really? All right. Mm -hmm. And um, could we talk about um, some of the things that you're interested when it comes for, to prime mm -hmm. um, holiday <coughs> adventures? Because I know that you'd like for this to grow. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, how? Would you like for it to grow to which extent yes. and in which aspect <coughs> okay right now we have two branches yes so um uh, i have uh, uh, this idea of uh, getting new branches opening up uh, new branches so that i can also create uh, employment mm -hmm. and also encourage people to travel change their mindset of traveling mm -hmm. but uh, it's so interesting that uh, most locals are now appreciating and uh, really traveling a lot yes, yes. Within, within the country yes within the wow, country beautiful. there and that's beautiful. good when the the community gets to appreciate our resources they help in uh, maintaining it mm. yes I see sure. um, oh, wow. I'm, I'm so glad yes because actually uh, yesterday I was reading was it yesterday or the day before that mm -hmm. I was reading an article mm -hmm. Kenya actually has been listed in mm -hmm. Africa mm -hmm. as the top mm -hmm. tourism destination you sure we are number one. I think it used to be South Africa, but I think yes. you see we took that medal. Yes, sure. yes, and it's and <coughs> it's, it's great because um, first of all, people are coming from overseas to come mm -hmm. and see Kenya. Mm -hmm. Not only that, mm -hmm. Kenyans themselves are even interested in Kenya sure? as it is. 
and um, maybe you can tell us what are some of the hot spots mm -hmm. for locals mm -hmm. and then you can tell me some of the hot spots for mm -hmm. um, some of your international guests. Yes, uh, what attracts more the international guests are the wildlife, Masai Mara, uh, Mount Kenya there. That's so, international guests. Yes, basically uh, we are heading to uh, high season, yes. uh, late June, yes. so we expect more tourists coming mm -hmm. in Kenya. Right after so, the rainy but we're going to be very busy. Mm -hmm. And uh, about uh, the locals, they need uh, uh, day trips and excursions whereby they just go enjoy some place like um, the forest. Mm -hmm. We are there recently. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, Elementaita, they just want to to just go to to a certain place that they get to enjoy and come back to their places, okay. especially during on holidays. Okay. Yes. Right. And you said that you do packages even for couples, is it? Yes. Um, honeymoons. honeymoons and everything. Sure. And solo travelers like myself. Yes. <laughs> and also family packages. Yes. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Can we maybe discuss um, what are some of the ideas mm -hmm. that you, <coughs> that are in the kitchen mm -hmm. cooking right now? What, what are some of the things you want to change Kidogo mm -hmm. or to add a little bit mm -hmm. when it comes to your particular company? Um, okay, but what would uh, really we are looking forward to is uh, having uh, uh, travelers appreciate our packages and when they travel they have they have what they were expecting is more of what they got there mm. so and uh, we are we are also planning on uh, giving them we actually give them uh, some hampers mm -hmm. when they travel with us they mm -hmm. don't just travel and come back and forget about it mm -hmm. we appreciate them mm -hmm. and also they can also get a chance to negotiate like joy you come to me you really want to travel and uh, you think that uh, I want to go to Diani, but I don't know how it's. I don't know if I have the the, the, the I've saved enough for tr to travel. So when you come to me, I'm able to engage you at uh, that point mm -hmm. and uh, make you travel to a very nice destination mm -hmm. and come back happy. Okay. Yes. Ah, thank you for that. So a beautiful, ambitious lady like yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm sure that you know there are gentlemen who are thinking, oh, mm -hmm. I have to wife this one. Mm -hmm. uh, what would it be like for you to mm -hmm. balance? Do you think that you are ready for something like that? Are you looking forward to something like that, or are you f kind of focusing on yourself right now and on your business right now? Yes. Uh, I think uh, in life you need to balance things. Mm -hmm. For every uh, for everything to work, you need to check on everything yeah. and make sure that you're tending both to your family and also the business as well because you need both of them yes. actually yes. yes that's very true <laughs> and we don't have very much time left for our interview right now uh -huh. and so what I'd like for us to focus on is mm -hmm. our young people who are watching yeah. because we do have a lot of youth who are watching right now who are interested in mm -hmm. business sure. but then you know um, kind of I don't know how to say where to begin. Let's say somebody doesn't have capital to start a business, for mm -hmm. example. Maybe can you ad advise our young people ways in which they can first of all find some, get an idea and then get some capital and then finally get the uh, project implemented. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, that's your camera, dear. Sure. I think uh, you're hearing me from outside there. And uh, whatever you need is uh, yourself. When you uh, you have yourself you only need you don't ha you don't need a lot of capital to to start up a business or to just get to somewhere but you need yourself that motivation is very important so if uh, you, you you start uh, the little savings that you have and you actually want to do something definitely you will do it mm -hmm. yes thank you for that lastly and not least uh, mm -hmm. finally i'd like for you to market mm -hmm. for this wonderful company because i do believe that um the more people that are watching, the more yeah. you can be able to get some clients and everything. It is mm -hmm. Tuesday entrepreneurship. We're not mm -hmm. just, you know, here to listen to what you do for a living. Yes. We'd also like for you to prosper in what you're doing for uh, a living. Yes. And so what are some of the things that you can tell our viewers when it comes to wanting to work with you? Mm -hmm. The viewers were interested in booking a trip, <coughs> for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want to, to join us. Maybe, uh, I need your website, your yes. social media handle, yes. your phone number for the company. Yes. If you really want to join us, especially when uh, you are you, you are an intern, we really appreciate you, and uh, we make you, uh, we give you the the skills that you need to to step uh, to make a step uh, 
forward. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, to, to write to us, you can um, drop us an email mm -hmm. at uh, info at holydayadventure.co.ke. You can also... Please repeat that. Yes, uh, info at holydayadventure.co.ke. You can also check out uh, on our website, www.holydayadventure.co. You can also find us, uh, our social media pages, uh, Twitter at uh, Prime Holiday 17, Instagram, Prime Holiday underscore Adventures, and on Facebook, Prime Holiday Adventures. Okay, so yes. those are the ways, all the ways in which they can reach you to book something. Sure, sure. That's great, that's yes. interesting. We do have to wind up the show and pave the way for Hilda mm -hmm. Wadidi and the next interview. Yes. Thank you so much for watching Tuesday Entrepreneurship. My name is Jerome Chachi. This has been Why in the Morning. Do stay tuned.